Ladies and gentlemen, the great electrifier. Energy is like a river. It exists in two ways, flows and stores. When you store energy, you create a dam to capture it. Renewable energy, so-called, is really just the stored energy of the sun or the wind. I say so-called renewable energy because in actuality, there is no such thing. Harnessing power even from the sun and the wind is limited. It's also, and please listen closely to this, a thoroughly industrial process in order to create the mechanisms whereby you capture this energy. For instance, did you know that making a solar panel requires solar cells, and solar cells require silicon chips and CSI wafers. Both of those begin with the mining of silica, which is found in sand and quartz. Silica is refined at very high temperatures to remove the oxygen and to produce metallurgic grade silicon. Silicon for semiconductors, however, which are necessary for solar cells, those must be purer by far and achieving this level of purity requires a chemical process. Which chemical process exposes the metallurgic grade silicon to hydrochloric acid and copper, which, remember, must be mined, to produce a gas called trichlorosiline. This is further distilled to remove remaining impurities. These impurities include chlorinated metals of aluminum, iron, and carbon. That's right, carbon as in carbon footprint. Finally, it's reduced to hydrogen to produce silane gas. This gas, in turn, is further reduced to make molten silicon, which is used to grow monocrystalline silicon crystals. And this, I assure you, is only the beginning. Please remember, this industrial process is only for one component of the renewable energy, unquote, called solar. I'm not here discussing any of the other thousands upon thousands of components. And I still hear him call my name. Hey.